Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Simpsons Hit and Run. Uh, last video we completed the first uh, mission of the the story, first story mission of the game, and then I also did the first uh, street race. But uh, before I continue, I'm going to get a few things that are in this area. There aren't very many, so this won't take very long, and then I'll try to get the next mission started. Now, um, in the last video, you could actually see this WASP camera during the street race. But um, I couldn't get it because I was in the middle of a street race and this uh, area was boarded up. But now with the street race over, we can go over here and get this WASP camera. Now over here, we have this uh, weird little rocket car. Um, in every level of the game, there is one hidden vehicle that's just like... Sometimes it's lying around, other times it's like in a very high or hidden place. Uh, this vehicle in particular is like really fast. Unfortunately, um, let's just try to experiment here. Uh, one hit will almost destroy it, so um, not a very good car to use, in my opinion. Uh, I'll try to show where all of these vehicles are in the game in each level, but uh, since I never really use those vehicles, I don't know where some of them are. I do know where ma a majority of them are, but I don't know where they all are. So just keep that in mind while I'm doing this project. Okay, the next hidden thing I want to get very quickly is over here. Uh, this is actually very easy to miss if you're not careful. So let's see if we can, I can find it. It's, it's uh, okay, it's not over here. It's past this place. Uh, there's a level card right here. It's actually really difficult to find. I had a hard time finding that. And that's the Spine Melter 2000, which is from the episode... Uh, brother, can you spare two dimes? The second episode to feature uh, Homer's half brother. So yeah, I know my Simpsons knowledge. So uh, now we're gonna go all the way back to the Simpsons house so I can do the next mission. Uh, now the levels are designed, all of them at the last level. They're designed in a way where you can actually like go in a complete circle around the entire area. Uh, for this video, I'm just going to go straight back to where I was uh, in this path because uh, in the area I was about to go into, I'll be spending a lot of time in that area anyways, so don't worry, I'll get all the stuff in there later. Let's see. And as you can see, uh, you can find some shortcuts uh, around this place, so when you're doing missions later on, especially racing missions, uh, you can use those shortcuts to your advantage. I think there's like another one around here somewhere. I don't remember where it is exactly. Again, I haven't played this game in a while. But I used to play the hell out of this game. So sometimes I'll remember where things are. Other times I probably won't remember. So let's go inside the Simpsons house uh, to start the next mission. And also before I actually start the next mission, uh, the TV is a level gag. So make sure you get that. Uh, that's a very easily missed level gag, so let's go ahead and start the next mission. Homer, go talk to Ned Flanders. He seems miffed and P.O.'d. Why me? I'm the world's greatest neighbor. I even have a mug to that effect. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be uh, spending some quality time with Flanders in this episode. Let's see. He's over here, I believe. Actually, I'll get the car, because I'll need the car as soon as I start the mission. And it's all the way over here, so it's better if I just go ahead and move the car next to him. Okay, stop. Okay, what's up, buddy? I'm all in a dither, Homer. So many of my possessions have disappeared. I called the police to find the culprit. Culprit, eh? My lawnmower, my cooler, my lawn chair, a family portrait, even Rod's inhaler. What kind of sick individual would take this stuff? Oh, no. I borrowed all of Flanders' stuff. Quick. Think of an excuse to get out of here. Uh, excuse me, I think I have to go shuck some corn. Okay, second uh, mission is Petty Theft Homer. Collect all six of Ned's lost items before time runs it's out. Crashing time. So let's get in the car. And uh, we have to drive around and look for these items. Uh, they'll appear as uh, little flashing icons on the screen. And then you can also see them on the radar as well, in the bottom right corner, so just to keep a lookout to where they are, they're very easy to find. Uh, since this is the first level, a lot of these missions will be pretty easy. 
Uh, they'll get harder as time goes on. And I guess Barney has the next item, so let's talk to him. Uh, you remember that cooler I gave you for your birthday? Well, Flanders wants it back. Now what will I use for a toilet? I don't know, an actual toilet, maybe? Oh, weird. Okay, let's get back in the car. Ow, they're hurting my car. Why would they do that? Okay, so let's go, hurry up and get this wrench. Uh, I should mention that whenever you hit a wrench, uh, the current car you're driving will be completely restored of its uh, health and its damage that's been done to it. I'm sure you guys probably could have figured that out, but I never actually directly mentioned it. Now I need Flanders' stupid picture of a stupid family. Smell good? Okay, so now I have to find his picture. Let's see, I think that's like right next to the shortcut. Yep, it is. And the last thing we need is Rod's inhaler. Okay, so I'm wondering why Homer has Rod's inhaler in the first place. That's just like normal Simpsons humor though, I guess. So, I think this is the last item. Okay, yep, yeah, we have all the items, and now we have to get back to Flanders' house in about three minutes, which isn't a problem. His house is like 30 seconds away. So if you honestly fail this mission, you have problems. This mission isn't really hard at all. Okay, let's go talk to him. Flanders, look, I found your missing stuff. Now, about the reward. <laughs> Thanks, neighbor Rooney. Here's your reward. A prayer from the Lord's number one fan. Our Father in Heaven, bless this noble oath. Stupid Flanders getting happiness from religion. <laughs> okay, story mission number two has been completed. Now, I would go ahead and start the next mission, since I might be able to finish it in the video time, but I'm actually going to do a few other things before I start it. Uh, because there's some stuff in this area that I'll be skipping over if I start the next mission. So we're going to go to the area where uh, the bridge is. And I cannot drive. I'm like having a hard time getting used to the controls of, these, of this game again. I'm so used to playing like Mario Kart these days. So it's like a lot different controls. Speaking of which, they should have a Simpsons Mario Kart game. Not sure why they haven't done that yet. Okay. Um, I don't remember if there's anything on the bridge. I'll go ahead and check. Uh, in future levels, do come back to this place. Because I know there is some, there are some things that are on top of the bridge. Uh, what you have to do is you have to climb up this like weird little part of the bridge and you can usually get on top of it and find some things uh, usually wasp cameras they decide to put like wasp cameras up here for like no reason yep there's one right here I should have known now uh, don't worry about collecting all the coins that the wasp camera drops because uh, you'll easily fall and I don't know if there's one on the other side or not I'll go ahead and check I'm pretty sure there is oh yeah there is wow Good thing I checked. Let's just don't fall off and we'll be fine. Okay, now I decide to fly over here. So this is actually going to be pretty tricky to get. Okay, I'm not going to worry about the coins. I got the wasp camera. That's all that really matters. So let's go back to the car. Okay, uh, two things that are up here. Uh, if you see a, on the radar, just a normal blue circle, one that's not where the next story mission is, that is actually the bonus mission, as you can see here. So this is where the bonus mission is. There's only one in each level, and I'll probably do this next video. And over here, uh, where this dollar sign is, uh, this is Gil. Uh, he's in a few Simpsons episodes. Uh, if you talk to Gil, you can actually buy some vehicles with your coins. Unfortunately, I don't think any of these vehicles are really spectacular, so I'm not going to worry about buying them. So there's only two vehicles available anyways, the Duff Truck and the Surveillance Van. Now, as you can see, if we go to the level Progress, uh, there are five vehicles you can get in each le level. Uh, one vehicle is... Uh, the one you get from the street races, another one is the vehicle you can buy from a random Springfielder, 
And then two of them are supposed to be ones that Gil can give you, but I don't remember where the third... Oh, wait, no, the bonus mission. The bonus mission also gives you a vehicle. So two from Gil, one from the bonus mission, one from the street races, and one from the uh, random Springfield. Or I'll go over the random Springfield or one in the next video as well. Let's see. I'm about out of time. I didn't realize I was almost out of time. Uh, very quickly, I guess I'll get these two lost cameras and the collector card. Uh, I can't get up here. Maybe I won't. Well, I'll get the collector card and the lost cameras. Uh, Mr. Sparkle, another one of fa Homer's famous moments. Let's see, where's the other one? I know there's another one here. I just saw it. Oh, there it is. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay, there we go. I got the wasp cameras, I got the collector cards. So I'm going to just end the video right here. This is Slim Kirby. See you next time on Let's Play The Simpsons Hit and Run. Later, folks.